Meanwhile, aviation unions have threatened a total shutdown of the industry over the federal government's plan to demolish Lagos headquarters annexes of major aviation agencies. That is the Federal Airports Authority of Nigeria, FAN, and the Nigeria Airspace Management Agency, NAMA. Daily Trust reports that there has been an uneasy calm over the move, which the union said would leave thousands of workers without offices. The Minister of Aviation, Senator Heidi Sirika, had in the peak of COVID-19 in 2020 directed the aviation agencies to relocate to Abuja despite not having befitting offices. Secretary General of Nuwate, Ocheme Abba, who spoke on behalf of the unions, observed that for every inexplicable reason, none of the minister's projects has been delivered to date, against which reason he has been in a frenzy to deliver the projects for an administration that is at its twilight. He said this rush to deliver at all costs has caused suspicion and a plethora of missteps, which he said, if not corrected, will spell doom for the aviation industry. Uh, exercise of the four international airports and other aspects of the aviation roadmap under the Ministry of Aviation. We have decided on... We have decided to uh, establish an action plan of what we are going to do immediately. The first of such action plan is we are calling on the Federal Executive Council to halt any further approvals on the airport's concession program and indeed any other aviation roadmap project pending a comprehensive forensic audit of the projects undertaken up to this point. It is our firm belief that such audit will expose the activities so far to be wasteful of public funds and to be tilted away from national good. This is the least that the FEC can do in order to redeem itself in the face of the accusation that it has so far been railroaded into giving consent to bad deals for the country. We are also calling on the Nigerian Labour Congress, the Trade Union Congress, and civil society organizations to mobilize all Nigerian workers and the Nigerian people to join our effort to rescue our common patrimony from the grabs of powers that be in the aviation industry. We are also calling on fan staff and pensioners and indeed the entire aviation workers to stand ready for the fight of our lives in defense of our genuine rights and interests and to save our industry from ruination. We are also calling on all patriotic Nigerians to join in this once and for all battle to let our elected leaders know that our national assets do not belong to the few opportune individuals in government and their cronies for them to share and plunder, nor do they have powers to act as they please over national interests without our consent.